Welcome aviators to a champion spotlight with Mumu. I am Aviate Benji and I am with Aviate Twink Sam who will be helping me with this champion spotlight. So we're going to start off with our Q, the bandage toss. Uh, this is obviously very helpful when in team fights as you can do that it stuns them and they can't really do much as they have you have come closer to them. So. Another great thing about the bandage um, toss is when you mix it with your W, it does do a bit of extra damage and it just brings that little bit of extra surprise, pop it on them and as you can see the health though goes down slowly, it does very well. Those tears are very annoying. Also when jungling, uh, brilliant to start off with. And E, a little bit more simple, a bit more close range as you can read here. It takes for reduced damage for physical attacks, just spin that and every time he gets hit uh, it does reduce. Um, as you can see here I've mixed with Ignite and Flash. Now uh, for me personally when not jungling that is brilliant. So here we go just that and then Ignite uh, doing absolutely fine uh, on the enemy. Uh, going back to Tears of Despair and uh, Tantrum, when jungling these two are definitely uh, the best uh, to use as you will very rapidly uh, go up the levels and now the most important thing curse of the sad mummy fantastic when in team fights you're in a bush all you have to do very nice and quickly is pop that and you get that kill uh, not always obviously it does help when you're in a team fight uh, and you stun that team and the enemy team do not know how to uh, react. So we're just going to quickly pop now to uh, building and I'll see you guys in a minute. So now I will be talking about the masteries and how I personally like to build as you can build a Mumu AP tank or full AP. So good uh, diversity especially for the character he is. Uh, so here I've bought the Sunfire Cape and the uh, Rileys. Very effective as the Rileys help him be a bit more AP and um, again as I said you know he is diverse uh, it is a necessity along with the Sunfire Cape which helps him do uh, damage so when I'm going to use Brand here as an example of um, a jungle creep as I like to call them just then and a quick teardrop there you know it's very quick and swift uh, especially for jungling you know it really helps because it does do that magic uh, magic damage to him uh, even if you're low on mana and stuff you can just run around them for a bit of fun what I like to do uh, with minions. Um, also for effective jungling just the swift ones is just the E uh, does does a lot of damage to them uh, and also helps them. Uh, smite obviously instead of ignite you could have ignite instead of flash but that's my personal uh, choice. When going to the masteries I personally like to choose uh, 21 defense and um, 9 utility yeah, I, I prefer the extra support of the uh, defense there as I do like to run in and help my team out. I I, uh, I do enjoy the teamwork of uh, the League of Legends. So again there, just doing the amount of magic damage to uh, Brand, you can see you know he does go down uh, with a good mixture of all his abilities. The Soul Shroud is also is important but in my opinion not necessarily needed sometimes frozen heart can be taken uh, but this uh, also helps with uh, the mana as he is a very much a mana burning uh, champion so there you go putting him low and that sunfire cape finished him off which was brilliant so you know if you're in a team fight you see someone's low hook onto them and you can take them out even if you do not have ignite um, so thank you very much for watching Aviators, this is my first Champion Spotlight, um, so help me out in the comments uh, with where I could improve, uh, we will be doing this weekly, so if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up, if not, you can give it a thumbs down, but please give some con con constructive criticism in the uh, comments, and uh, let, us, let us know why really. So thank you very much guys, this has been Aviate Benji, hope you enjoyed it, bye.